Today, I'm going to show you how you can insert an HTML5 player on a Google site. Uh, for some odd reason, Google has never made it easy uh, for students to embed audio files on a Google site. Uh, fortunately, uh, a technology teacher by the name of Dale Bassler has created a Google gadget that will allow us uh, to do just that. So basically, the students can record a file in Audacity, upload it to the Google site, and then embed the player on the site so that visitors can then listen to their audio recording. Uh, here I have an example of a David Bowie website. So I'm going to upload a David Bowie uh, Young American song to the site that people can click on and listen to it directly on the site. Now the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have attachments enabled on the site. Uh, by default, it may not be enabled. Uh, in order to turn that on, we're going to go up here to our settings wheel. We're going to click on it, and then we're going to go down to where it says page settings. From there, there's a checkbox that says allow attachments. We're going to check that and click save. You'll notice by having done that, if I scroll down, I now have the option to add files. So as a teacher or a student, I'm going to click on add files and I'm going to navigate to my MP3 and upload it to the Google site. Once it's been uploaded, you'll notice the name of the MP3 file appears as well as the name of the person who uploaded it. You also have the option here to download the MP3 file to your hard drive. I'm going to right click on it and copy the link address because I'm going to need that address when I embed it on the site. So now I'm ready to put the player on. Uh, to do that, I'm going to go up here to my pencil icon. This is the icon we click on in a Google site whenever we want to edit a specific site. From there, I want to, the player to appear right below the photo. So I'm going to click below the photo. I'm then going to go up to insert more gadgets. From there, you're going to add gadget by URL and put in the following address. It's tiny.cc forward slash HTML5 player. That's tiny.cc forward slash HTML5 P-L-A-Y-E-R. Once that address has been entered, you're going to click Add. It will then present you with a few options. Uh, this file to play is going to be the link address that we just copied. So we're going to paste that up top there. The file type is an MP3. Auto start, never really a good idea, but you may need to use it, but we're going to say no. We don't need it to loop, no. Do I want to show the downloaded link? I'm going to set that to no since they do have the option to download the attachment if they want to. Uh, the background color, we'll keep it at white. Uh, your width and height basically can stay the same, but I'm just going to make it 310 for the width for now. And I always uncheck the two boxes that say include a border around the gadget and display a title on the gadget. If you want to preview it, you can preview the gadget. I'm going to click OK. And you'll notice that a gray Google gadget box appeared below the picture. I'm going to center it so that it is centered with the picture. And then I'm going to go up here to where it says Save and click Save. And right away you'll notice that the HTML5 player has appeared. And when I click Play, it'll play the song. So that is how you embed an HTML5 player on a Google site. Thanks for watching.